Okay, welcome at Corollarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. This is the bi monthly for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. And um, I want to say um, thank you for being here. Please like, share, and support this channel. Please leave a message. Share, share, share. Okay, so let's see what we are sorting off with. So as we reach the, the second week, there is a lot of anger for you Aquarians. Whatever is happening, um, there is a whole lot of anger at the workplace or with a business issue. Um, I see you're dealing with some sort of a consultant. Um, so I see two, two consultants are very, very angry. Whatever the issue and the problem is, um, and why this anger is coming. I see it has to do with some sort of a, a new process that is going to be created or um, it is as if some of you just got uh, um, that your contract is not going to be ended. So I see um, this anger that is coming in is going to affect freelancers and people who were part-time, temporary, um, that sort of a, um, a infrastructure of people who are either freelancer or work temporary. Okay. And both women and men are being faced by um, the issue of a whole lot of anger. So I see some of you um, Aquarians are going to be um, dealing basically with uh, a Gemini woman, whoever this uh, um, Gemini woman is. I see you're dealing with a Cancer woman and I see you're dealing with a Capricorn man. Now the Cancer and the Capricorn man, whoever these people are, I see these people are like consultants or freelancers or maybe you are consultant freelancers but there is some sort of an issue that is going on and you can see this, the hunger that is coming up. So this could be also personal officer um being anger um maybe these people want an uh um an sal a salary or that sort of a thing so be aware of this so what we're seeing here is that some of you could be dealing with a a, a male consultant and i see that this person is going to be asking for um an increase um of pay um, that is going to be coming up. This man is a, a a businessman and I see that he's trying to create some sort of an investment for your company or this person work as a freelancer but this is like an auditor and controller or so and I see some of you uh, men are having some issues. Uh, um, I see that you and um, if you have a business and uh, you are coupled up uh, with your partner, there is some sort of an issue that is transpiring with some investors or people from um, the um, the head office that is coming in from another country. So you have to be aware of that. So be aware of because in these two weeks, uh, there is definitely some sort of an issue that is going to be transpiring with um, people who either work temporary or is coming in to do some controlling work uh, or is creating some sort of a new process, uh, some implementation. Um, there is problems because it's as if the process isn't running and I see a whole lot of problems that is going to be coming up and is affecting you guys. So um, in the two last week of April, and I see whoever these investors are, they're slick, okay? They're slick, meaning they have contract um, and the contract that they have and create um, is very, very slick. So you got to be aware of this and you got to be aware of who these people are, especially um, this Capricorn um, man. This could be a consultant, could be a free um, a freelancer, whoever this person is, you got to be um, slick because um, this person is working um, together with these uh, investors and these are people who really have a lot of money and um, they might be wanting to take over your company and I see you are standing your ground 
against this and said no. So people who have their companies and who's looking for investors, you got to be um, aware of this man that is intercepting or is communicating because whatever is happening and transpiring, um, this man has his own agenda. So be aware of this, okay? And this man could be um, a banker also, okay? So be aware of this. Some of you could be going to the bank for a loan. Um, this man is very slick and you have to be aware of this. Um, so we're looking at you men. Um, you could have have a personal, a personal assistant or you have some consultant that is coming in and you're not agreeing with what they're doing and you're not agreeing with the process that they're running. So I see that you men are really going to be um, kind of standing your ground and I see that this person is not really happy um, because this person um, realize some sort of a process that is not properly run or this person is really uh, letting you know that your investors is not uh, very honest or there is some sort of a false um, falseness that is going around. So it's as if this person is trying to advise you, but it's as if you men are not listening to the advice of uh, this person, whether it's your assistant, um, whether it's your personal assistant, whoever this person is. And I see that truth is going to be coming out later as you go um, in the month of September. So what we're seeing here, and as we look at the diamond shape, um, I see for you um, donkey hair men, there is some form of a sadness. Um, and a sadness because you could have received a message that your contract is not going to be extended so some of you could be dealing with a um a um sagittarian man um who is very pissed off because uh, um his position could be uh, being removed um because here you are um is consulting um because you're realizing that there needs to be some ship of control in a corporation institution and i see that uh, um this person and their secretary or assistants is going to be out there is a lot of sadness because this person is very um upset with this man because they she thought that this man could have protect her from some issues that was going on in the company but i see that this man is going to be out i see a whole lot of sadness um some of you um, could be giving the message to this lady. Um, whatever is transpiring is as if some of you um, are dealing with a personnel officer um, that is a, a Gemini. And whoever this lady is, uh, um, this lady is coming up as if it's a cancer and the boss. And I see um, the boss is going to be making some decision um, and that is going to be creating some sadness. Um, some of you, because of uh, this person boss, they and the boss is going to be out because of some um, discrepancy or some um, issues um, that you um, all could not work out. And I see some of you are upset about what has transpired um, with this person and their co-worker um, or this person and their supervisor. And I see here... Um, it's as if uh, um, the CEO or CFO is saying, um, along with the stockholders, is saying he has to go. They both have to go because they are making our company looking very bad. So I see a lot of sadness is coming up for this uh, um, person. This person could have been um, a manager, um, but um, whatever fault they have done, he has done with his supervisor. And so I see... Um, CEO and the shareholders are saying um, he has to go. Okay, so there is some sadness. Then I see a huge um, meeting that is going to be transpiring um, with the um, the stockbroker stock brokers, uh, investors. Some huge in um, um, meeting that is going to be transpiring um, where I see that some of you are going to be uh, dealing with. Uh, um, a Taurus, a Taurus uh, 
um, businessman or this person could be on um, the, the board of uh, the stock, um, the board of commerce or something like that. But I see it has to do with a, a huge government institute to organization for some of you or a huge, huge company for some of you where there was um, some sort of a uh, um, huge meeting because I see there, these are people from like investors, stockbrokers, uh, um, that is having this meeting and they're making a decision. And I see that some of you have to tell this man, um, this, this man is coming up uh, as a, um, Aries V or Sagittarius man, um, that their contract and, um, their contract is being, um, not renewed and, um, the investors are going to be paying them off in, in order for them to leave this company. So, um, this is a huge, when I said huge, um, people are coming in. Um, as you notice, this person, um, is a consultant, but it's also, um, could have been the innovator of this business and this company, along with a stockbrokers coming in and having this huge, um, because as you leave the end of August going into September, they're going to be coming in having this huge meeting. Um, it could be the end of the book year, um, um, cause August is the end. So a whole lot of companies and some of you could be consultants, auditors that is going to be coming in and working in order to look at the books at a corporation and deliver, um, the, um, the, the numbers, uh, um, the balance and wins, uh, but this corporation is going to be scaling down. So there could have been some sadness because some of you had to get um, rid of some people. But as you begin this period, whoever this boss is or whoever this man is, he and this young person is going to be out because they have found out uh, um, that these two people have created some issues for their organization institution. And I see they are definitely um, um, having a meeting over this in order to resolve whatever that was going on. As we look in the first week of September, what we're seeing is that some of you are dealing with a Taurus and a Sagittarian. A Taurus and a Sagittarian. And I see that... Um, whatever the situation is, I see the Sagittarian is going to be very saddened for a situation because I see that the Sagittarius could have gotten the message that their contract is uh, um, ended. So expect some sort of an issue um, that is going to be coming out because whoever the Sagittarian is and whatever is to inspire, they're going to be getting some sort of information because I see here um, this person could also be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian man and um, whoever this man is and whatever is transpiring he's the, definitely going to be out and I see um, here a lot of people it's like a cutback so it's like a big cutback and so they're going to be paying him out a lot of money so you guys could have been the one that is doing this or um, you're on the team of this meeting because I see you're discussing this with another co-worker what has happened and transpired and how these managers have uh, um, um, reacted to what was happening and transpiring. So I see a, a whole lot of sadness for this manager. Okay, some investment uh, investors or a banker, there could be some also um, because this could be an investing company, a, a banker company, and there are some loss, huge loss that is going to be coming up. Then um, we see the energy of a widower uh, that is coming up in the second week of September. Remember to pick up the September reading when um, they comes out because it's going to be telling you something about what is transpiring. So I see this widow and whatever is happening is as if, um, you know, you know, you are trying to find out what is uh, um, the direction going forward with this company. And I see you're kind of discussing this with co-workers and trying to figure out exactly where this is going, because you are aware of some sort of a changes 
that is going to be coming up. So I see some ending could be coming up for um, someone in a corporation institution. Some ending could be coming up for a Taurus and his company because they have find out some um, some issues with his uh, um, financial stability or um, some issues he's having with a banker or a corporation. So I see that could be coming up. Now, um, faithfulness, um, some of you, um, I see a colleague, um, a co-worker is going to be um, um, staying very faithful to you. So um, whatever is uh, transpiring, I see a whole lot of sadness for a Libran. Whoever this Libran is, I see um, you Sagittarian could have bring a Libran in some sort of a situation because if you notice, a lot of co-workers are speaking about this Libran, how um, this Libran got this position and uh, um, it's as if some, a whole lot of information come out about a Libran and a Sagittarian and the Sagittarian could have been the head hunter and got this uh, Libran some sort of a false documentation in and now it is all coming out. So I see a whole lot of falseness that has happened and has transpired. And I see truths are going to be coming out. Um, and it has to do with a Sagittarian and a Libran. And a whole lot of the co-workers are speaking about this and asking how could this has gone so far. So I see um, here um, is... Uh, the sense of a cancer because if you notice a whole lot of you um are dealing with the cancers and if you look across what this is saying is that some sort of a new contract um could be assigned okay um but it is also a sense that uh, um this new situation some of you could be leaving a corporation institution and it's moving on to something better but whoever the Sagittarian and this Libran is uh, I see some sort of a setback that is going to be coming up because um, this older person is going to be making sure because she's discussing what is the next move that happened to do these two people so I see that the, um, um, they are going to be um, really investigating these two people because they realize that uh, um, whoever the Sagittarian is, as a, um, this is coming up as a Sagittarian, but um, this man, whoever this man is, is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, for a corporation institution. And whoever this man is could have take, um, um, take in people in this corporation that was not uh, um, professional or was not... Uh, uh, didn't have the right papers, uh, um, so they could be um, really seeing that there was sort of a um, um, that they smuggled people to a corporation in order to get them some sort of a balance, okay, and that uh, some paperwork was um, incorrect. And I see um, this is a sort of government institution coming in and investigating um, the issue and the situation. And I, and this is why if you work in um, personnel officer or you run a department, I see you're going to be saddened because it's as if they're coming down on you and you are throwing these two people under the bus because you're saying, yeah, I didn't know who this person is and how um and how did he um he just asked me um if there was a position um so that he could bring in this person um so whatever is transpiring i see some of you are going to try to get yourself out of an issue and a situation because you realize that someone just just created some sort of an issue around you and you're going to be releasing yourself from, from this sort of a um issue and situation in order to rebalance out a problem on the work floor or in your business because I see some sort of a, a situation where government in, government came down in order to control the procedure um, in your company. Some of you are de dealing with uh, um, deadlines, um, end of uh, the um, book year ending August and a new book year beginning September. 
um, um, a lot of you are saddened because a lot of your co-worker has left or has got their marching paper. So there is less people, but more work for you that is going to be coming up. So um, be aware of that. So there is um, definitely some some sadness that is going to be coming up. Um, and I see a lot of you are going to be um, dealing with the Taurus, the Sagittarian, the Librans, and uh, um, there is um, as, as if this person is a supervisor, and I see this supervisor is uh, discussing a way in order um, not to be caught up in the situation, and is saying to some of you, yeah, you have to find a way to release them out of their contract or get them out of their companies. And I see that you are the what you guys are the one that is going to be asked to uh, make some sort of a arrangement in order for them to be released out of their contract. So, um, it, it it is good for you guys, but for um these people, it's not looking so good. I gotta go. Namaste.